this here. We Christmasified the shop because I'm gonna be filming some dollar store projects today. I'm gonna start today with some dollar store ornaments. These are my favorite to do because they're so cheap and ornaments in the stores are so expensive. Why are they getting so expensive? Um, let's just DIY our own, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna go grab some materials, BRB. You know what's cheaper than a dollar store DIY? A DIY with toilet paper rolls. <laughs> I saw somebody make these once and I was obsessed with them. So I grabbed all the dollar store supplies I needed and I'm going to be making my own little yarn hats. So I'm gonna start by just marking like a half inch on all of these. Let's cut these guys out. Now that I have some of these cut out, I need to cut some string to length. So I'm gonna cut a 10 inch piece of yarn, approximately. And then I'm just gonna use that yarn for my reference and cut like a bazillion more of these. Enjoy this little segment of Christmas music. The next step is to loop all these around the hat rim. So I'm going to fold this in half exactly, put the loop up on the inside, grab the pieces through, and make it tight so that the yarn pieces sit up straight. And I'm just gonna do that over and over and over again. I'm doing my typical neutrals but if i do this with my kids they're definitely going to do like pink and purple stripes or something and it's all going to look amazing so do whatever colors you like the next step is to take all these strings twist them a little and put them through once they're all through I'm gonna use one of these cotton balls. Put that up in here. We are going to make sure they look nice and tidy. And then we're gonna add another string here-ish to pull it all together. Now, you gotta just cut these bits so that they're shaped like a little pom-pom. They're so cute! Look at the little duke. It's so cute. I love it. Okay, so now, I just have to, uh, Watch a Hallmark movie while I make 30 more. Absolutely love how these turned out. They would be so cute as gift toppers or garlands, but I honestly love them as ornaments too. On to the next one. I found these little wooden acorns at the dollar store and I loved them instantly. I am going to attempt to make some little ornaments out of them. Um, I have these tiny little eyelets that are just like hooks that can sit at the top of the ornament. So I'm going to first drill holes for these little eyelets, put those down in, and then paint them. Russell had this little tiny drill bit that's about the size of these, so they should work.
I wanted to add some texture to the tops of the acorns and I decided to add a little bit of cocoa powder. I didn't want to add baking soda because I didn't want it to be white, but I put this in in hopes that it would get the texture that I wanted. So I'm putting the second coat on these and it's really interesting because I did not anticipate this happening but the second coat is basically like clay or muddy because it's got so thick with the amount of cocoa powder I put in but if I just kind of like bump my brush around it after I do the second coat look at all that texture it's like so perfectly acorny. <laughs> Absolutely love these as ornaments. Again, I would totally use them as gift toppers too, but I really feel that it brings that kind of natural element in to your Christmas tree, and I'm really happy about it. Next project involves these wooden planks from the dollar store. They're actually quite thick and they're a nice shape. What I want to do with these is make them into little kind of gingerbread house ornaments. To do that, I am going to cut a roof shape into the top of it. I'm going to paint them dark brown. And then I'm hoping that there's enough meat here that I can just put a little eyelet in to hang the ornament. So the first thing I have to do is figure out what I'm cutting and cut it off. They're just about three inches, so one and a half is the center. And then I'm gonna bring that line up. But I want these like maybe yay tall. Five and a half, maybe? Five and a half. Then I want a 45. If you don't have a square, ask for one in your stocking. Now to cut this off. My little houses are here. Russell, while I was gone, actually added these little eyelets for me, which was really nice, because this is a thin area to drill a hole into. Um, but we drilled the hole, added little eyelets, and now I am ready to draw on these. I am going to be using a whiteout pen. I actually saw this at the dollar store. I was looking to see if they had any like white gel pens or anything. And I saw this and thought, that might actually work better. So this is what we're going to try. It's not bad. turned out so cute. 
It took a minute for me to get used to using the whiteout pen, but there are so many possibilities now with these. I am definitely excited to try my hand at some more of them. Next, we're gonna use these little dollar store wooden stars. The first thing I need to do is find the center of the star, which I'm gonna do by going from this point to this valley and then another point to another valley. So this is the center of my star. So we can either interlock them this way so that the points are both at the top, or I can interlock them this way so that each of the points are on opposite sides. Like this point would be down here and this point would be up there, which I think I would love to try that first and see if it works. So I'm gonna do, instead of doing like one slit at the bottom and one slit at the top, I'm gonna do one slit at the bottom and one slit at the bottom, and they're gonna interlock opposites. I already measured this is about an eighth of an inch thick. So I'm just drawing a line, a sixteenth of an inch on either side of this line. And then I'm filling that in. And then that grayed out area is what I'm gonna cut out with the scroll saw. Oh, nice, perfect fit. The stars are all cut, they're all interlocked very nicely. My original plan was to stain these guys, but I practiced a couple of stains on one of them and just the grain and texture of the wood, it just doesn't look good to me. We're changing plans. Instead of staining these, we are spray painting them. Um, this was a test one and it's like a nice antique bronzy color and I like that a lot better. For these ones, I just drilled the hole a little bit to the side of the top point. I think it will look really nice if it's kind of hanging on an angle like that, but also uh, I didn't see a nice way to kind of drill it into the top to make it hang straight because of this overlap, so I thought this was kind of the next best solution. So I'm going to use this clear glue to glue the stars together. Since these are not getting stained, it's okay if there's a little bit of glue on it because it will just get paint it over. So I'm just gonna put a little bit into the groove of one. And then hopefully that's enough. We'll overlap these guys. And I'm just lining up these upside down ones so that like the corner or the valley of this star lines up with the base of this point. You may have noticed I ended up doing both types of 3D stars and I'm honestly really happy with both of them. The spray paint I used had a little bit of a metallic flake that the light picks up and I just think they ended up looking really really nice on the tree. For my next trick, I will be turning these into ornaments. I found these little wooden cubes at Dollar Tree and I thought this was a good score. They're hollow inside, so they're not super heavy, but I am going to paint them and turn them into little gifts for the tree. The first thing I have to do is mix some paint because we all know the Dollar Tree colors are not as nice. In matching my holiday decor this year, I 
I'm going to use some deep dark colors for my ornaments. So my moody little Christmas boxes are done. Really happy with the vibe of these guys. The next step is to make them look like gift boxes. Ta-da! I have velvet ribbon from the dollar store. So my thought is to make all of these kind of monochromatic. I'm going to put this green on the green gift. Oh my gosh, that looks so, so good. That's my first time seeing it. It looks so good. Okay, do that. I'm gonna put the black on the black gift. And then I'm gonna have to find a ribbon from my stash because I don't have a velvet brown from the dollar store. So we'll find something for the brown ones after. Using my favorite craft glue, which if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I use on literally everything. We are going to make a bow. So I'm going to put, drill a hole for my little eyelet right here, right above where the ribbons all cross together. I've seen little gift box ornaments before, but to me they always looked a little bit tacky. Whereas I feel this monochromatic set feels so much more modern. I'm really happy with them. My next ornament involves these little plastic uh, bulbs from the dollar store. We've all seen these at every dollar store. And I'm going to use these to attempt to make some velvet looking ornaments. The real velvet ornaments are very expensive and I've seen people try to dupe it with like flocking material, but that stuff's also really expensive. So I'm going to attempt a baking soda hack and see if I can do this super cheap. I poured in the original colors and I didn't really like the tones of them. So I've modified them a little bit, just adding a little bit of black, a little bit of white to one of them. So I have to take all of these guys off first. That's not the vibe. We're gonna paint these after, but first we're gonna paint the bulbs. These guys have been painted twice already. Now we're going to do one last quick coat. And use some baking soda. And I am just going to sprinkle it all over this guy. Give him a nice little dusty baking soda-y coating. And then this layer of paint and baking soda will kind of mix together to form the texture. So I don't want to knock all of it off right away because I want to let some of it set. You can kind of brush a tiny bit off the, the really excessive stuff. I don't want to brush too much off because I want it to dry with the paint. And then when it's dry, I will come back and knock the excess stuff off, hopefully. Once the paint has completely dried, you can brush away the excess baking soda. I use my finger, but you can use a brush for this too. I 
I am definitely calling this one a win. I would say some of the lighter bulbs definitely, definitely look like velvet, but even the ones that look a little bit less like velvet still have this beautiful texture. And honestly, I'm just super happy with the collection and the ability to make ornaments in whatever color I want. So my ornament creations are done. I hope you guys liked this video. I had kind of a difficult time coming up with some ornament ideas this year and making everything really cohesive, but I think I did a pretty good job. If you have a favorite ornament, please let me know in the comments below. Obviously, let me know what you thought of the video. Please give this video a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button because there are more holiday dollar store projects coming up soon. Happy holidays and thank you so much for watching.